Hey there, fellas! Right, so today's experiment isn't what you'd call massive, but it's a pretty interesting one nonetheless. You might remember us doing that thing with the sand under the wheels, and a bunch of other tire-related experiments. And all just to make it out the gate. It's a pretty steep climb to get there. And during the winter not every car can make it, even if you pick up some speed. Anyway, my point is that we've done plenty of tire experiments. Like that time we stuck a bunch of screws into the rubber and drove out onto the ice, where they actually gave us fantastic grip. And literally just a few days ago we discovered that we have a ludicrous amount of these Coca-Cola bottle caps. You can see we've got some regular ones, New Year's edition. Right, so check this out. Why don't we try... Even if I go ahead and start the car, it might seem ready for battle, but it is fitted with some regular tires. So I'm not making it out the gate. Anyway, why not take these bottle caps and sort of place them onto the tires rim facing away from the rubber? My guess is that these makeshift studs will give us loads of grip. And having loads of grip... We should very well be able to make it over the snow while feathering the gas pedal. What do you guys think? Will the caps stick? Something tells me they should. Right, let's go get some screws, a set of tires, start attaching those bottle caps, and get some super studs going on our tires with loads of grip. Let's do this. Now, in order to illustrate my point, the car is running winter tires, but this here is some street rubber, so nothing sporty. It's fine for driving around the city, but it's not the best for making it up this hill. So you start by slowly making your way up, pick up a bit of speed, and then you reach this point. Damn it! How the hell did this happen? I just had to get the car sideways. Okay, got it. So here's the thing. We sort of have our doubts that a screw this long can hold a cap in place on one layer of rubber. The other problem is that you can't have the screw sticking too far in. Otherwise, it might puncture the tire tube, if we decide to use one. Okay, so the idea is to take these two wheels right here, shave off a bit of the sidewall. After that, we deflate another wheel, like this one right here, wrap one around the other, then put some air in to get a tight fit happening, and the result will be a layer of rubber thick enough to stick some long screws into. I'm guessing 20 mil screws should do the trick. Though we do have some that are a bit longer. So yeah, we'll end up with a set of double-layered tires. The point is that the car can't make it up that hill. But as soon as we apply these caps, that might make a difference. Okay, let's get to work. Using 600 bottle caps as tire studs. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. All right, this is a pretty fun-looking set of wheels, eh? They appear to have some decent grip, though there does seem to be a problem. If we roll the wheel back and forth a bit, a portion of those bottle caps gets stuffed with snow. 
Though some of them do stay clean, it's probably not critical. They should still grip, so yeah, let's throw these on and try them out. They even match the color of some of our car's red ornamentation. It looks pretty cool. Now what do you guys think? Am I gonna make it up or not? Can the car make it up this hill, with me gently riding the throttle? Share your thoughts in the comments. I'd like to think it will. Right, it's about time we give this a try. Wonderful. Right, let's do this. Wow, did the pads freeze up? All right, so what's up? No trouble whatsoever. It just climbed right out. That was super easy. So these bottle caps actually work then? Or should I instead call them corks? Now we flip around. Quick look at the road surface. And none of the caps fell off. We do have another hill nearby. This will be slightly more interesting. First I get to the bottom, and now I try making my way back up. Run dude, come on, keep running. That was almost too easy. It just made the climb, without even breaking a sweat. Now let's try climbing with no momentum. I'll stop at the middle. And try setting off from a standstill. This seems like a good place. The angle is very nice and steep. This is like Driver Z 101 all over again. I've got the car in gear, holding the clutch as you do. And now I just ease into the throttle. I flunked that. Fire up, William. Come on now. Oh wow, I can see the bottle caps flying off. Come on, baby. I don't even know what to say. It's still moving, look at that. It's moving. And we've made it to the top. But I have a feeling there are no more caps left. Only thing left to do is make it back to the starting line and have a look. Right guys, so we've checked on our bottle caps, and here's what's going on. They work quite well actually, but they seem to have a certain destructive tendency. The rims on these bottle caps... You see, the thing is that they cave in, especially when you give it some gas and get the wheels to spin. Then there's the fact that the plastic gets brittle in these cold temperatures. Then again, the bottom parts of these caps are still very much intact. The rim bits sort of break off chaotically, leaving us with some pretty sharp edges. Even in this condition, they work quite well. But I say we try destroying them to the point of no return. Alright, let's do this. Oh wow, does that hood lift up. Looks like we're digging ourselves in. Yeah, definitely. Oh, 
These caps are doing a fantastic job. Nice! Seriously, who would have thought? <laughs> there you go. This experiment is in the bag. It's all good. Though I did sort of wreck the road. The big cars are gonna make it out no problem. But the owners of the smaller vehicles are going to be pissed. Might as well bounce a bit early today. I just love how they grip. No wheel spin. The car just picks up and goes. Even when you're so much as breathing on the gas pedal. But you are better off taking it easy. I went a bit crazy. But that was purposely for the sake of doing a torture test. So in piston terms, all that's left are the crowns. Rounds. Still though, you've got a bunch of sharp edges left, which give you a surprising amount of grip. They were very eager to dig in when I hit it right over here. Yeah, these Coca-Cola caps are rock. <laughs> Try it out for yourself if you don't believe me. It all worked beautifully on this double layer tire. You can even confidently use some long screws. They do poke into the second rubber layer, but what matters is they hang on. We didn't see a single one of them fall out. Everything's great. Right, fellas, I'd say we're looking at a 107% success rate. These caps do their job brilliantly. You guys watch us, subscribe, send in your comments and suggestions, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later. I'm gonna go buy some glass bottle Coca-Cola. Can you imagine how much we're gonna need? We've got 300 caps on each wheel. Your body's gonna shut down after drinking so much Coca-Cola.